What is up FBG fam? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Now with the introduction of Arataki Ito and Goru that is coming in patch 2.3 that begs the question is Geo going to be the dominant element in Genshin Impact? Now I do want to get your guys opinion down in the comments below. Let me know with the introduction of Arataki Ito and Garu, will Geo be now the top element that you'll want to center your team comps around or the full Geo team, is that going to be the way to go with the Geo Resonance and all the great Geo characters that are in the game? So I want to discuss that with you guys. And once again, let me know your opinions down in the comments below. But before we jump into it and go more in depth, I did want to quickly mention that I do have a second channel you may not know about. It is called Even Further Beyond Gaming, where I'm doing a lot of Demon Slayer content, a lot of rank matches over there. Here's a quick snippet. Okay. The water wheel. The double water wheel! I told you, you gotta watch out for the double water wheel. Oh my gosh. Nope, 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 nope. Oh! oh. Oh my gosh. So if you do want to see a different side of me, if you do want to see a competitive side, that is the place to go. But we'll also be doing other games when they drop, such as the new God of War and all sorts of games very similar to that, like Forspoken and things of that nature. So if you want to see that type of content outside of Genshin Impact and related to Genshin Impact like MiHoYo Games, then go ahead and check out the second channel even further beyond gaming i'll have a link in the description down below thank you guys so much if you sub and like the videos and whatnot i do truly appreciate it means a lot to me also if you guys want any subs if you need some deals on some waifu cups that rhymed then go ahead and click the link in the description down below as well it gives you 10 percent off everything in the store for gamer subs the sponsor of this channel if you do purchase anything use code further beyond gaming at checkout and it helps out the channel tremendously. It directly supports the channel so we can grow and do bigger and better things. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Really means the world to me. Now let's get into the video and the topic at hand, the Geo element. This is something that I've been thinking about since my last video because with the introduction of Arataki Ito and Garu, I want to know you guys' opinion. Does this now round out the Geo element and does this now make Geo the more favorable element to go for because originally when the game dropped geo wasn't the element that people were too excited for if you take a look at the game of genshin impact and the characters that we have and the element that have been the most dominant i would have to lean towards pyro and cryo as being the dominant elements because of the characters that they have for them but not only the characters that they have for them the reactions that you get off of those with melt you're able to do so much damage and that is what made pyro and cryo such a dominant element in the game for such a long time even to this day it is still the dominant elements i would have to say uh and the characters that you get with those elements so if we take a look at really quickly uh we'll take a look at pyro first since it's literally first right there you take a look at the type of characters that we have here for pyro we have klee such a fantastic dps arguably one of the hardest hitters in the game you have Jin Yan, such a great supporter with the shield and be able to do fizz shred and all sorts of good stuff you have xiang ling that you get for free and she is such a great supporter for the pyro element and is able to do some good damage herself the giga chad himself bennett who has just been a staple to this day and there is i don't i don't know what else to say about bennett he's just fantastic deluke has always been a great dps hu tao arguably one of the best dps's in the game you have yan fei who's absolutely fantastic and then there's amber no <laughs> i'm kidding amber mains she's great she really is so pyro has always been a very very strong element and then if we take a look at cryo uh let's go to cryo here and we confirm the filter we have such strong characters here arguably i think maybe even better than pyro you have eula who is one of the best characters in the game one of the hardest hitter hit is one of the hardest hitting characters in the game and then you have ganyu arguably the best character in the game that can literally do everything you have ayako who is absolutely fantastic you have chi chi 
arguably one of the best healers in the game. You have Rosario, who's a fantastic four star. Kaya, who I think is a little underrated. You have Aloy, who you get for free. Diona, one of the best supports that you can get in the game. And Chongyun, once again, one of the best supports that you can get in the game, but also does some pretty good damage himself. The cryo element is just stacked, as well as Pyro. But now if we take a look at Geo, and let me go ahead and clear. And we go ahead and filter to the Geo element, and this is excluding the Geo MC. This element with the uh, introduction of Arataki Ito and with the introduction of Garu now seems like a very strong element that is pretty dominant, I would have to say. And I think it's going to be extremely viable. I mentioned that in my last video because if we take a look at these characters, starting with Zhongli, I still to this day would have to say he's arguably the best character in the game. That shield is bar none one of the best things that you can have on your account. It is just so good. It trivializes so much of the content in the game and it's just fantastic. And then his elemental burst petrifies and does tremendous amount of damage. So Zhongli is just a fantastic unit all around. Then you have Albedo, who is just very similar to Zhongli in the terms of him being a fantastic support, being able to allow your allies to do more damage, and his elemental burst is incredibly strong as well, if built the right way. You have Ning Wong, one of the best DPS 4 stars in the game, just DPS in general to be quite honest with you. She hits tremendously hard, once again, built the right way. And then you have Noelle, who provides herself a shield. Gives herself a little bit of healing, is able to do some pretty damn good damage herself. And then if we take a look at Garu, who's going to be an absolutely fantastic support for this element specifically, which I think this element was needing. And then you have Arataki Ito, who is shaping up to be a main DPS oriented character, but is seemingly be able to fill a lot of roles, whether it be support or sub DPS. I think Arataki Ito is going to be able to fill a lot of roles on this team. So... You have all of that going for you and then you couple that with the Geo Resonance and you have yourself something that is pretty, pretty incredible. So if we take a look at the Geo Resonance Enduring Rock, I mentioned this before in past videos. I think this is one of the best uh, elemental resonance that you can have in the game of Genshin Impact that increases your shield strength by 15%. You're going to have that naturally with having Geo characters, whether it be Crystallize or whether it be Zhongli and his shield, whatever the case may be. You're going to get this, so it's going to be really nice. Additionally, characters protected by a shield will have the following special characteristic. Damage dealt increased by 15%. Once again, if you have Geo characters, you're going to have a shield, so you're going to get that increase by 15%. And then dealing damage to enemies will decrease their Geo Resonance, or Resonance, what? Geo Resistance by 20% for 15 seconds. That's just going to allow your Geo characters to hit even harder. So having a full Geo team with the introduction of Arataki Ito and Garu is seeming to be even more viable now with this Resident. So it's just one of those things that I was thinking about and I'm taking a look at the Geo team, the Geo element, and then you add the Geo MC on here and what the Geo MC is capable of. And now you have yourself a very viable team that I think it will be in contention for one of the best elements that you can have in the game. As far as team comps is concerned, you know, if you take a look at a full Geo team, it's looking pretty stacked. It's one of those things that I was just thinking about. And once again, I just want to get your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. I think a full Geo team is going to be extremely strong with the inter introduction of Arataki Ito and Garu. I think they're going to be... I, I think the Geo element, because initially when you look at the Geo element... It was one of those elements that was just really supporty, right? Not really too much of a damage dealing element outside of Ning Wong and maybe Noel and then sub DPS, but they were lacking like a true main DPS five star and then like a really true support, like full on support. And now they're getting that in patch 2.3. I think that really just instantly raises the stock on the Geo element and makes them very strong. But once again, just let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know what your thoughts are about this. I am interested to, interested to see what you guys have to see. I uh, have to say I'm having a hard time Englishing today. It's It's been pretty difficult. I do apologize. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. And until next time, my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody, and I'm out. Bye, guys.